Uh, today I have the pleasure uh, to interview uh, Ken Mayo, who is a, a veteran um, home inspector and he's well suited uh, for, to talk about this. And today we're at um, in a mall uh, and uh, Ken is also certified for uh, Accessibility Assessor, which is a certification put on by Rick Hansen Foundation, which assess the buildings and workplaces, any commercial space on um, how accessible are for people to, uh, to use and enjoy. So Ken, want to tell us a little bit about um, uh, your experience and certification and how does it work to make sure buildings and places are compliant for all kinds of disabilities uh, people may have to prevent them to, to live a full life. Okay, well thank you, Michael, and thanks for inviting me over today. Yeah, we're here at the uh, Park Royal Shopping Center in West Vancouver. Uh, we came here today because typically uh, the shopping mall is, is a very inviting place for people of all abilities. Uh, my own involvement with the uh, accessibility world began in 2018, uh, taking the certification course at uh, BCC, uh, followed by writing the exam and being approved by the Rick Hansen Foundation to do assessments. And I've had the pleasure of traveling all over the province this, in the past four years uh, to, to assess uh, commercial buildings. Uh, some examples would be government offices such as Work BC. I've uh, been also working with First Nations and municipalities on their public access buildings. Um, it's, it's quite an exciting uh, work to do because you feel like you're making a difference. Mm -hmm. uh, Maybe a small difference, but it, it does move society in the direction that we can have accessibility for everyone, and that really is the goal. So uh, for someone who is not very aware of this topic and uh, they're thinking about it, uh, retrofitting their home or their work workplace or building a new home, what are some of the things uh, they have to kind of think, keep in mind and, and how should they contact you to, uh, to do a full assessment? Well, I can be contacted through my website. Uh, my company is called Ken Mayo Accessibility Incorporated. And uh, I'd be happy to come out and have a consultation prior to uh, any work and, and have a look at the site. And then we can arrange to do the assessment. And it's very, very uh, involved work. We do record a lot of data uh, with tape measure level and, um, and recording all the information on a camera, really, because there's so much information. It's a <clears throat> very, uh, very dense in terms of the level of uh, inspection that needs to be done. And it begins in the parking areas. Uh, we want to make sure that we have uh, accessible parking that would be uh, conveniently located to the main entrance of the building and then we move in from there to the pathways. Elevators so mentioned, right? Pathways uh, and yeah when we come inside we'll be looking to ensure that the building is accessible for everyone. So the main entrance has to be accessible, that's a really key feature. And then moving inside the building uh, we look at the reception areas, uh, lobby, uh, reception desks, uh, pathways in, inside the building, hallways, uh, sanitary facilities, so we look at the washrooms and if there's any other features such as showers or changing rooms in these buildings, then uh, it's, all, it's all part of it. So you can see it's very, very comprehensive. Mm. So that's why the uh, mall and maybe an airport is ideal place, um, which is an example of what is accessibility for everyone, correct? Well, that's true, Michael. Yeah, yeah actually, be because of the volume of people that are using those facilities on a mm. daily basis, 365 days a year, you can see how critical it is that people can move freely with the, with the least amount of barriers. Mm -hmm. Okay. So again, what if people can uh, contact you? Uh, and uh, thank you very much for being on interview. But uh, your worst, best way to reach out to you is? Uh, through my website. It's yeah. um, accessibility-bc.ca. Thank you very much. Thank you, Rinhansen, Rinhans for uh, the work you do. In the Please feel free to contact me. I'd be happy to, to discuss your options. And feel free to... Check other videos on my channel and subscribe or, or comment below.